Hi there, this is Shauna from The Foil Fox, and I'm here on Paper Tray Ink and Ink to Paper's YouTube channel, and I'm sharing a new stamp and die set called Branches of Love. It comes in this great hold and fold pouch, um, and it has this um, four by six stamp set that has the branches in the pot and some sentiments and a layering stamp for the pot. You can see on the back those pieces that are included. And then it has the matching die set that cuts out um, the main pieces. And it shows on the back also the pieces that are included in, in the die set. So to get started, we're going to take apart, I took apart the die set. I'm not going to use those two little pieces um, for this project. I'm going to take some a white piece of white cardstock and I'm going to cut it into two pieces. I'm going to cut out the branches and I'm going to cut out the pot. I'm going to maintain the um, negative space because you'll see I'm going to use it as my placeholder. It's going to be a holder for um, stamping your um, branches and your pot. It's a slick way of doing it. I have double stick tape on the back of this. I'm sticking it down. I, I have a mouse pad, a misty mouse pad in this, so it has kind of a vinyl surface on it so it's easy to pull this up. And then I've, I've just pushed in place. I have not put any any kind of tape or anything on the branch part of it and I'm laying the branch stamp over it get it positioned perfectly and then I'm going to ink it up with true black ink this is a way especially with something that's really fine like this that you can get it in the right exact position and that you don't have some going off the the die um, or that you can, you know that you're missing part of your pattern and you can get perfect positioning. So now I just peel that up and I'm going to use the pot the same way. I'm going to add those little bits of um, double stick tape, stick it down as my placeholder. It's going to hold my pot and I'm going to put the stamp, the uh, and I'm going to stamp it with aqua mist. Once I have it positioned perfectly, then it's going to work out great. And if you wanted to do a lot of these cards, this would be a very slick way too because it just creates this placeholder. It's very easy. And see how the ink just grabbed that because the pot is so lightweight that that die cut, it um, stuck to the ink and pulled it up. But no worries because you can just put it right back in its placeholder and it's in it's, uh, in a perfect position. I did stamp it twice with Aqua Mist and um, I think I'm going to do it one more time so uh, just to get really good saturation with it. And then I'm going to pull that off and I'm going to put on the layering stamp. And I'm going to use a darker um, ink for this. I'm going to use Hawaiian Shores. And I've positioned it perfectly again before, you know, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure when you're doing these kinds of things. If you take your time in positioning that stamp, then you can just stamp away with confidence and you can do it very quickly. So I'm going to stamp this a few times with Hawaiian um, Shores. Now I took out a bunch of different papers. I have some some blues and some reds and some bitty big paper for pure poppy. And I did take out some silver and some gold. Um, I just wasn't sure which ones I was going to use. So I took out some scraps. I have the little heart dies and I cut all of them, a bunch of these hearts out using those pieces of paper because now I have a bunch of these and I um, don't have to worry. I have them all together. I have a bunch that I can just choose from. So I have a, a pure poppy um, card base, card stock, and a white panel that is smaller. I wanted a big wide um, red border around this. So um, the card base is a, is got about a half an inch all the way around a little bit bigger. Now I'm taking those little, those pieces that we already stamped and I'm just positioning them. I'm just getting an idea. Again, the whole idea is, is if you do your prep work, then you um, will have a good product. And so you'll see that I'll keep checking back and forth where I want to kind of have it, have it positioned. And I wanted to create kind of a horizon line and I wanted to kind of have an idea where that might go. 
Now I'm using, to do this horizon line, I'm using a piece of post-it tape, but you can use post-it notes or you can use masking paper or anything to kind of block off and create that line. And you'll see what I mean when I start adding a little bit of ink to this um, white cardstock panel. So again, I'm just really, I'm going to always be checking it before I go and add any um, anything to it because I want to make sure it's in the right position and that I've got the spacing right. So I peeled off, I'm going to use with love. This is one of the sentiments included and yeah, that looks right. So I like where that's positioned. So I'm taking a blending brush and very, very lightly with a light, light hand putting on aqua mist and I'm not going to cover the whole thing. I'm going to leave a whole lot of white. I'm going to just mo mainly put it at the bottom and work my way up a little bit. Then to darken it very light, you can see I use a very light, light touch. I'm using um, Hawaiian Shores. So I just want this to be really subtle and I'm going to peel this up a minute if I can get it up here and just kind of look. Yeah, that looks kind of what how I want it. So now I'm going to add some splatters. I have um, some Hawaiian Shores, some black Sumi ink, and some white bleed proof white. I'm going to cover the bottom half because I don't want the splatters on the bottom half. And I'm taking a little brush and I've loosened up the Hawaiian Shores with water and I'm just splattering that very lightly. And then I'm going to take a smaller brush and I'm using, um, and I just kind of do it off to the side to make sure that it's splattering the way I want it to, little tiny black splatters of Sumi ink. I use this for calligraphy a lot and line art, but I use it in this case too because it's very black. It doesn't dry and fade back to gray. It always stays really sharp. And it's the same thing with the white. I love that bleed proof white. Um, it makes, I did use a um, Starbucks stir, by the way, to, to splatter those on uh, because I wanted them a little bit bigger. Now do let it dry before you go to this step because you don't want to smear everything you did. So make sure it's very good and dry. But now that I kind of positioned it and got that where I think I want it, I'm going to stamp the sentiment. Now I'm using a piece of acetate here because I'm just, um, I have that sentiment chucked up here, you know, all mounted in my stamp positioner. And I just want to make sure it's straight, it's in the position I want it before I actually stamp it. You go through all this effort and then you don't want to mess it up by having something having your sentiment be, you know, wrong in the wrong position or crooked. So I, I do often use that piece of acetate to check that first. And now that's stamped. So, and I have some foam tape on the back of the branches and the pot. I'm going to put some double stick tape onto this piece of foam. This is so I can pop it up. You could use foam tape if you wanted to, but I'm going to use a sheet of foam. And I'm just adding um, a little strip there because I don't, I wanted to have some support underneath, but I'm just putting foam on the back of the white um, card panel so that it pops up. So now that works out. So now let's put some double stick tape on the back of this and we're going to mount it onto our pure poppy cardstock card base. And I, I just I really wanted that, that wide border. It's about a half inch all the way around. And I'm again, I'm checking again. I'm gonna, you're gonna find that I'm just always checking to make sure that everything's in the right position. Now I'm going to kind of arrange these, these hearts and get an idea what hearts I'm going to use. I've decided that I'm gonna go with red and the blue because that's kind of my theme of the card. And um, I'm going to use those ones that I cut out of the uh, Pure Poppy Biggie Big paper that has the plaid on it. I think it gives it a fun look. I'm going to use a little bit of um, other um, pinkish, pinkish ones and some blue because I think that um, just will give it a little bit of interest and a little bit of pop. I'm now measuring, just making sure. I love clear see-through 
rulers because I can just count the squares it's super fast so you're gonna find that I'm gonna go and measure now do you see I made little marks on there and the reason why I made the marks is because I want there's a little there's two stamps in this stamp set they'll give you little strings so to speak that where you can dangle your heart so I just took my pencil and very lightly made a mark now I always use a mechanical pencil that's very fine for this and really have a light touch so that it doesn't show through or there's nothing to erase then afterwards but see now I have my strings all stamped with uh, true black ink and I'm going to peel off these little pieces of foam tape the release tape on the back of it and I'm going to line them up with those little dangles that I just made measure again try to make sure that I don't have a crooked you know all these are things that are so important so that we have a really nice looking product now squeeze on a little bit of liquid glue take a toothpick and I'm going to just put a little bit of glue underneath some of these branches just to secure them because you can't get foam tape all the way to the end there. So I, there's just a few places I wanted to do that. And now I'm going to take off the release tape. You know, I have foam tape on the back of the pot. Measure again. I want to make sure that it's in the right place. And, um, you know, I'm going to be fastidious about this because it makes a difference in your final product. And then now I'm going to dump out all my hearts and I'm going to go after these again and I'm going to position them again one more time. I just want to get an idea where they should go. Some of them I'm going to put a, a little bit of foam tape on the back of them and some of them I'm not. Um, most of them I want to pop up, but some of them are already on top of the the um, branches, so I really don't need to do that. Plus, I'd like to have a variety of heights. It gives it a little bit of interest. So we're just going to stick this on. This is, you know, a simple card. It's great for Valentine's Day, but you know what? The With Love, you can send this to anybody, and I think they would just be delighted by this, this pot filled with hearts. So there it is, all done. And I just think that this is such a charming stamp and die set. It is great for Valentine's, but all year round, anybody would be so happy to get this little bouquet or you know, kind of plant arrangement of hearts. And it, you can use it in so many different color schemes, so many different ways you can use it. So I hope you give it a try. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And pop over to blog.inktopaper.com and see more inspiration. You can also go to foilfox.com. We have a complete supply list there and um, oodles of inspiration there as well. Thanks so much for joining us and we'll see you next time.